one can also compute the difference in difference estimator by running a linear regression and that is what one actually typically does in um, economic articles let's first take a look at the data set we will use so here i have six example rows we have one row for each combination of day which is specified here by the date variable and dma so the region um, for which we measure the revenues um, which are in this column and then we have two dummy columns here treat is equal to one if this particular dma is in the treatment group yeah so the dma 500 is in the treatment group and so it's on every day for the dma 500 the treat is equal to one exp is a dummy that indica indicates the time period so it's zero if this day is before the experiment has taken place and x is equal to one if the day is during the experimental phase so this year is in june and here this date is in april that was before the experiment and here in the status that we also have a column group and period that basically decode the same information than uh than tweet and x just as a string so those columns are actually nicer to produce the graphs while for the regression i find these dummy variable columns uh, easier to work with. So concretely, we can estimate the difference in difference estimator as the OLS estimator beta one head of the following regression. The dependent variables are the revenues for each DMA on each day, and they are explained as a constant, plus beta one, an interaction effect or of whether the DMA is in the treatment group, treat I, and of the dummy, um, whether we are in the experimental period. So this is XP and only depends on the day. Yeah, so this interaction term, treatment I multiplied by XT, is one only for those observations that were actually treated. So we only had the treatment if the DMA is in the treatment group and we have a day in the experimental phase. So otherwise, this uh, is zero. So in the sense, this is a natural explanatory variable we want to use to estimate the uh, effect of the treatment. But we add two more dummies. So basically just uh, a dummy whether I was treated or not. So it's not the interaction term. And also a dummy whether we are in the experimental period or not. And here we see the regression results and we find an estimator beta one head of minus 1.3 and that shall estimate the causal effect of our treatment so the causal effect of turning search engine marketing off and actually in our previous slide we, we computed a different di difference estimate of minus 1.4 but actually if we would not have made errors due to rounding particularly when i manually computed this i rounded the very roughly the numbers if we would not round one can show that these estimates would be exactly the same so the coefficient of this interaction term in our linear regression is actually the same as the manually computed difference and difference estimator and if you look at the slides at the next slides i basically show why that is the case so um you can really go through this but i will skip this in the video i think you you have to read it by yourself i mean you can also just believe the result but i, I guess it's nice to go through this derivation yourself carefully to better understand why the beta one head in this regression is actually the difference in difference estimator now one advantage of running a linear regression is that we also directly get a standard error for our estimator of the causal effect of our treatment so for the difference and difference estimator here's 7.7 .7. and that's relatively large compared to our estimated coefficient so that's also the reason that we don't have any significant stars so while we estimate a negative effect on the treatment um, of turning off search engine marketing it's not significantly different from zero and also in absolute numbers um, it's relatively small so we have minus 1.3 minus 1.3 and if we compare it to the average revenues um, 
in the control group, so it's roughly only 1% of the average revenues uh, that we estimate uh, will be lost if we turn off search engine marketing. So it's not really a big effect and it's not statistically significant, for, different from zero. So let's take a look again at our linear regression to estimate the difference in difference estimation. So this interaction term treat I multiplied whether we are in the experimental period or not is actually our variable of interest. Is the search engine marketing turned off for a particular observation? And these other two control variables, you can think of them of controlling for unobserved confounders. For example, take this experimental period dummy. So we have observations from before the experiment in our data set from April, and we have observations during the experiment from June. But possibly there are seasonal effects or time trends. Um, so we saw already that in June, also for the control group, there were slightly lower revenues. So maybe on average in June, we sell less. So if we would not add this control variable, we would have basically an observed confounders and our um, variable of interest, this interaction term, it basically would, uh, and the corresponding coefficient beta one hat would actually measure the indirect correlation due to the fact that uh, we have seasonal effects and the experiment took place in a different month than the pre-experimental period. But by adding this um, time, dummy, uh, we can control for such um, um, seasonal effects. So we can ac account for the fact that maybe during the experimental months, revenues were even absent the experiment lower than um, in the pre-experimental month. In a similar way, our um, Dummy for whether the DMA is in the treatment group or not can control for systematic differences between the treatment and control group. So we already saw that already before the experiment, revenues were larger in the control group than in the treatment group. So make a guess. If we estimate a shorter regression where we omit this treatment group dummy. So we don't control for systematic differences between the DMAs or not. How would our estimator for beta one hat change? Will it go up or will it go down? And remember that we know that before the experiment started, we have higher revenues in the control group than in the treatment group. Make a guess in the quiz.